he could do is to defend himself. We are going to be back into another game now. We're looking at another one of these games from Group 2. It'll be Svitolina up against wow. Esteo, who has already won a game today and it's one of the most convincing performances we've seen, wasn't it, Lorenzo, against Joanna Conta? Uh, it, yeah, it was a, a massive performance, but Svitolina, you know... Uh, she probably been practicing with Monfield, so we need also to take that into consideration. And you really see that uh, Kirstea is uh, trying to get as much focused as he can, as she can. And uh, Svitolina has actually got two game points right now. Could be a perfect start. Let's have a better serve, though. Again, another mistake. Can't afford to make this one. Well, we will be going into Deuce. That'll be four. Forty serves in a row. Does do very well. And we'll take the first game. Do you cast your mind back, Lorenzo. That's the first set of points that Hersti has actually conceded, in all honesty. <laughs> yes. It, it is. Uh, Kirsten is playing so well. We, we, we've seen it. And I think this will be a very enjoyable match. Quite attacking. You've got to be careful when you get that close to the net. There you go. That's why you don't do it. On. Any thoughts on this one, Alberto, early on to the game? Well, um... I think this is this is one of the matters in the women's side. I think they both they are great players. They know what is the game about, and I think uh, both Svitolina hits a little bit harder than Pristea, but uh, Pristea is always for most of the times she's well positioned and she she plays very smooth and very nice also. But Svitolina plays really hard shots even in the, on the surf. Stay on out. What a shot that is. Take us into Deuce. 40, 30. There we go. We're in Deuce now. A little bit too ahead of myself. Stay with the serve in this second game. She needs to try and claw back a point. Against the Ukrainian. Fantastic set of strokes there. Fantastic Advantage. Yeah, shot as well. Very hard, very hard shots. As you were saying, Alberta, it just seems like she's got some fantastic power on her backhands. Yeah. There's another one. Oh. That was impressive. So it's between an hour leading two games to now. Has Monfield a role in all of that? Yeah, we know he's been playing plenty of games as of late. A handful of those on tennis world tour. Great shot. If he does lose this game, it will be a win on the board in that group. Group two, that is, on the WTA side of things here at the Malta Madrid. Open virtual pro. That's a really strong serve as well. Has made a few mistakes from the serve. That one's in. Wow. Oh, that's big. That is a big forehand. You know, uh, it's not easy to hit this type of shot in the game. So, Christia really showed a lot of potential. Wow. Just playing beautifully, I think. Yeah, once you are inside the court, both players are hitting really hard when they are inside the court. She needs to work on her serving game, does Elena? 
she needs to. I think she she can win it. She can win it three nil. I think um, there is not much left to see, but I I hope that I get contradicted. You know. Mm -hmm. Here's her chance now to do so, Lorenzo, as you alluded to. Match point. <laughs> Svitolina, can she take it again? It's another foul serve. Match point from the serve to get her first win in this group. Can she do so? Not just yet. It's beautiful. Beautiful ball striking by Christian. He will take the advantage in this deuce. Fantastic shot, fantastic backhand. Advantage. Will this be the game of the day? Back to deuce we go again. Deuce. Do you think this is in? Svitolina's hands, Alberto. Do you think it will be a win for her? Well, I think she's favourite. She has a tremendous backhand. She defends very well with the backhand. She attacks Advantage. incredible with her backhand. And we have seen a lot of faults with her serve, but I think it's because she goes for it. She goes, she tries to power, uh, hard power with, he, with her serve, and she goes for it. That's why she's making a lot of faults on her serve. We're back all square again, back at Deuce. Advantage now. A match point Advantage. for Alina. She's able to take this. It will certainly mix things up in that group. Still, can't be decided. That's a long game. One of the longest we've seen today, probably. Advantage. It's been a great last few minutes of Deuce. Advantage to Kerstair. Wow. And there's the game for her as well. That was beautiful. You know, that, that, that shot was really beautiful. In the line. You can ask for, for more. But she still has got stamina problems. I mean, she's been playing probably better than Svitolina, but that stamina will be an issue, probably. Fifteen love. You have one of the shots she's been pressing. enjoying this whole time as well. Oh. Elena started very, very well, and I think she surprised Sorana, but now Sorana is there, she's playing. She has risen her level a little, a little bit up. I think so. That is a, a good analysis, you know. Um, she's very quiet. You can see it on the left bottom side, um, playing with a, in a really weird position with his leg on. I don't really know where the controller is and how she's holding it, but um, seems effective. She's playing so well right now. So um, I think I think um, Sorana's TV is on the roof. She's looking very high. Yeah, you can. You can look at her, um, well, maybe not a few, really comfortable. Maybe a few I'd complaints say. of neck pain. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's leading by 30 to 15. She pulls this one back. We all need to go the extra mile in this game. What a chance she does have. 40, 15. That's a big chance to come back into the whole set, into the whole match, I think, I believe. It's more the facts as well, Lorenzo. She was, what... One shot away from losing this game. Yes, she Three games was to nil. one point away. Exactly. But her attacking right now is just too good, I think. Both players just stretching the court. Look at these shots. Look at them. No way. That 
is incredible. That is a game changer, probably. Now, Svitolina will struggle a lot more. And Sorana, wow, she's just so good right now at the game. The momentum is all on her, you know. Um, I believe this match is one of the best we could hope could have hoped for today. What a turnaround, Alberto. You know, the, the, the quality of, of their game is unbelievable. How they attack, how they recover, and how they move. 15 all. What's really impressed me as well from Sorana is just how she's been able to work the ball as well she has because when you do get into a rally it always becomes a guessing game of which way is that ball going to be returned and a few times you've been able to kind of fake the way she's going and really has tricked Elena and the, and the game shows you that you have to fight until the end Sorana was match point down and she kept fighting and fighting and look now she's 2 all, 30 all, and with her big chances to, to win the match also I think so. You see how clean she strikes the ball, how well she's moving. She's really good at the game, I can tell that, and I already told that. And even if Svitolina um, practiced a lot, I think Sorana is just better overall. Out! Deuce. Here we go, we find ourselves in a very familiar position, back in a deuce between these two. Lorenzo, I have a question for you. Do, do, do the players get tired uh, on the game or do they lose power? Exactly. The stamina I was talking about, the, the green bar you can see at the bottom okay, yeah. of the player, it's the uh -huh. stamina. The less it, go, the less it is... Um, fulfilled, uh, the more the player will fatigue when playing a shot, the more will risk playing that shot if charged up. And this is why Sarana is doing such a great match because uh, Svitolina is, has got a lot of stamina, but uh, Christia is just any everywhere and playing the right shot at the right time. The shot selection, I believe, is perfect. And even with less stamina, she's like dominating the court. That this is the third game in a row that she's doing, so uh, it's it's very it's very good to see. What I love as well, Lorenzo, is just how she's mixing up her serves. You'll see it a number of times, the positioning of them. Exactly, positioning. Um, also, the the type of rotation, slice, uh, kick. Also, we can see some net play. I mean, the main story of this game is that. Castella was two games down and she's just won three in a row. You would certainly expect her to go the extra way and win this now. 15 all. He has clean charge. He plays very deep. She, she dominates the game. She does take the advantage now. He's just two more perfect points and she would be going 2-0 and oh in wins. And two very impressive performances. Two different performances, of course. Against Johanna earlier today, it was much more of a clean sweep, so to speak. She made literally one mistake in the game. Everything else other than that was perfect. Whoa. And that's it. That's that job was done. A, that was a great performance. Fantastic shot. It's that same shot. Lorenzo, it's been that same shot throughout the tournament for her. It's that backhand.